Okay, hello Aries, welcome to my channel and to this reading. I basically just felt like I want to do an Aries reading today and that's ages since I've done and I don't normally do zodiac readings for one sign anymore. So let's see, it's your birthday month, right? So happy birthday, I'll draw you some runes, I'll do some tarot cards and some oracles and just see where this leads us. So I want to see what's coming towards you guys for the rest of April. Uh, and let's start it off with the runes. Uh, remember, this is a general reading, it's not a personal one, so it may or may not resonate for you. So take what resonates and leave the rest, and the roles in this reading can be reversed. I will read it as I'm reading for you, but it might also be from a different viewpoint. It might be someone you're dealing with. Um, and yeah, just take what fits your situation. Please, if you like this reading, if it resonates, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. Or give me some feedback, just so I know that someone is getting something from my videos. So let's get into it. I also meditated a little bit, so let's see if anything from the meditation comes up in the reading. Okay, starts with some Norse runes. Oh, we have the Lagus rune and the Blank rune. Okay, so this is why I was asked to draw readings for you, because there's something you're not meant to know. The Lagus rune, this one, it's about feelings. It's the rune of water, it's cleansing, it's feelings, it's joy, happiness, good times. Life is also life energy, right? Um, I mean, water is life energy and it's also the spiritual element. So with getting the water reading in a fire sign reading, the water rune, I'm feeling like you. there might be a need for you to open up emotionally towards something. Um, maybe there's a need for you to calm your emotions a little bit to kind of uh, mix some water into there. But you might also have a lot of water in your chart and some spiritual abilities that you're not using at the moment. With the blank rune, this is something you're not meant to know. This is something that I'm not allowed to tell you. So the reading won't give me any more input. Okay, so there's something emotional or spiritual. There's something spiritual, something divinely guided, something emotional that will happen in your life. But you're not meant to know what. So let's get into it with the tarot and see if I can get some more in-depth for you guys. Okay, for my Aries for the rest of April 2023. Let's see what's coming towards you, Aries. Okay, I'm using my Light Series Tarot deck to start off with. Did you see that card flying? I don't know what it is yet. Oh. So, haha. <laughs> Four of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, and the Fool. Yeah, this is an emotional offer that you're not expecting to come into your life here. Okay. Just getting a couple of more cards and then I'll start talking about them. There you go. Okay, so the first card we got was the Four of pentacles but it was kind of hidden behind the ace of cups the four of pentacles is being scared to open up it might be being a bit selfish it's not wanting to share your resources either because you're scared that you will lose what you built up or it's because you're scared to let someone in this is not sharing this is like holding very tightly onto what you have in your life because you're scared to kind of lose it to share it with the wrong person. And then we have the Ace of Cups and that's funny because we have the Water Rune, right? Water Rune, Ace of Cups, Water Element, New Beginning. This is uh, a new beginning that's being offered to you by the universe, especially coming with the Fool here. So there's something unexpected for you. There's a new emotional beginning, there's someone who's going to offer you feelings or a new start in a relationship or new emotions and you're not expecting it and since we have the four of pentacles you're kind of scared to open up to it okay but this is the universe telling you with the fool here that you need to take a leap of faith 
They're trying to bring you something that's going to be good for your life. They're trying to bring increase. They're trying to bring love. They're trying to give you something that's meant for you. So they need you to trust them, to open up, to take a leap of faith. And that shouldn't be a problem for an Aries, right? Because you're jumping, you're jumping into things if you feel, if you feel drawn to it. But maybe you've been doing a lot of this in the past and got hurt and you're kind of scared to do this. I'm also feeling you might have a lot of water in your chart. This is for my Aries sun moon rising, by the way. Okay, so this is the universe asking you to grab this offer. They're going to send you something. They're going to offer you something either through spiritual downloads, like increasing your spirituality, or this is a love offer that the universe is trying to bring you. But you need to grab it. You need to open up to it. You need to see it and you need to utilize this opportunity and kind of make something of it, okay, if you want it to grow. New beginnings. You're a bit scared though. You might be scared to open up deeply with the person. Or this is you feeling like the person that you're connected to in love is being, it's, it's not being open with you. It's not sharing enough. Because I know you Aries, you don't like when people hide things. You want people to be honest. With the Seven of Cups here, there's choices. It's like you're feeling like you can't trust this maybe you're scared to choose the wrong direction you're not sure if you take this new opportunity that's being given to you if it's going to be real or it's going to be fake you don't know what's underneath it right but with the strength and the tree of pentacles here you also know that you're very strong you're very mentally strong you can do whatever you want whatever you set your mind to you can get through it uh, with the Three of Pentacles, this is telling you that someone wants to build a relationship with you or a partnership or a business. Someone wants to collaborate with you. This person, though, might be very different from you with the Three of Pentacles here. This person might have a different background culturally or from another country or they're, they have different educations than you, maybe a different outlook on life different backgrounds okay and if the two of you come together wanting to build something it could be really meaningful it can be something new that the world hasn't seen before so it's asking you here to be strong and to make your choice okay and when this cups comes in your challenge is to choose it and to be strong enough to kind of be proud to stand for it to own the choice you're making, to not keep options around so that you hurt this person, okay? This person might also see you as very attractive, so they might be scared that you're having other options. You shouldn't. We have the Five of Swords on the bottom here as well. So this might be someone that you've been fighting with in the past. It might be someone who tried offer you, offering you feelings but they felt like you didn't open up to it, okay? The cards are not really telling you who it is. They're telling you that you need to trust the universe and take this leap of faith. You're not supposed to know everything. Let's see if we can get some clarification with my gold for tarot. Clarification for my Aries, please, for the rest of April. We have the star and we have the seven of cups. The seven of cups, we have the seven of cups two times. We have the Seven of Cups two times, okay? And the star is my card of healing. The star is you building yourself up. Something very impactful, hurtful, shocking might have happened in your past here. But you're healing from it. You're pouring back into yourself. You're finding the right balance in your life. You're healing, you're resurrecting, and you're finding a new way of looking at your life. You might in the past have chosen something that was fake for you, okay? Someone might have hurt you, someone might have not been the person you thought they were and you're healing from this. So you might be healing from a previous relationship or just feeling like you're an option for someone trying to heal for it. That's where you got your strength from, okay? That's why you're so strong because you got through this healing. Um, 
you learn to stand for your choices here. Okay, I got one more card. It's the King of Cups. So if, okay, this might be you. Feeling like you're connecting to a water sign. That might be a bit hard for an Aries, but it might be amazing as well. Water and fire coming together. You can really complement each other. This is a masculine energy. He's emotionally mature. Knowing their emotion doesn't have to be a man. But if you're a female and interested in men, this might be a man around you that's helping you sort out your emotion. It might be a friend. It might be someone coming in in love. Uh, that's very emotionally mature and ready to offer you feelings or at least help you understand your own feelings here, help you heal. Uh, if you're a male, this might be you. You're learning to own your emotions. I hope this is resonating for you guys. If it does, please like, share and subscribe to the channel or give me some feedback. Okay, let's see. Can I get some clarification for this Four of Pentacles, please? Judgment. Judgment. Okay, you might be scared to open up your heart because you've you've shared things with people in the past and you feel like they just took advantage of you or this is you uh, who did it to someone else. But I feel like you're scared to let someone truly into your heart here. You're scared to share. You're scared that the person coming in is another lesson. Uh, and you're ready to open up for a true soulmate, someone who sees you. But there is a new partnership here. I feel like you already know this person. And you feel like it could be an amazing partnership. But it's, uh, it's still early and you're scared that this person will not be able to give you what you deserve with the Hermit and the world. Yeah, it looks like you've been withdrawing, finding your inner light. Um, you started a new cycle, you healed, you started a new cycle, you found your inner light and you're really scared for someone to take that away from you here. Okay, you're being the boss of your own life. Um, this might also be a business situation, okay, but I'm feeling like it's love. So let's just draw a couple of Crow Tarot cards and then I'll do some Oracle messages. I hope you're still with me. So what does the... Crow have for you guys. I'm feeling like this might be career re related. It might be someone you're working with who wants to come in and offer you a deeper partnership, a deeper connection, maybe start dating. Might be your boss. Doesn't have to be. Okay, but I have the King of Pentacles, so it might be your boss here. That's a lot of cards though. We have the Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands with the Hierophant. Okay, it looks like you're, you want to stabilize your life. You've been through a lot of trials, tribulations, a lot of hurt, a lot of things that could have broken you down, taken on a lot of burdens. You've had your battles. You're ready for stability now. You kind of run through your passion and it's kind of broken you down a little bit, but you never gave up because you want to find your stability. And we have the King of Cups again. Yeah, okay, there might be a water sign coming into your life or a Sagittarius because I have the Temperance. But the King of Cups again, there's something with emotionally mature masculine energies. It's letting someone in to help you open up emotionally to them. It might be you finding your emotions as well with the Temperance. You're learning what's the right balance in your life. You're learning how to put the heartbreak of your past behind you, not being heartbroken anymore. We have a lot of tens. You're completing cycles here. We have the world as well. You're completing cycles. You're ready for something new that's not burdensome, something that will build stability for your future uh, and for your family, for generations to come with the Ace of Cups again. There is an emotional offer that's coming. Sorry, this is the page of cups. There might be some love letters. Someone might be writing to you, telling you they have feelings or someone just wants to communicate feelings towards you. You're very focused on building, celebrating yourself, being proud of who you are and how far you came. 
So you might be ignoring this. Okay, let's get some oracle messages here. I want to use the light series tarot since we have a lot of spirituality here. You might need some spiritual guidance. This is for my light workers, so you might be a light worker, but you didn't know it in the past, maybe. Okay, let's see what's the advice for my Aries, please. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising for the rest of April. Harvest, Gathering of Blessings, 44. Okay, stability, building your stability. You've been focused on building your stability, on healing yourself. It's time for you to harvest your blessings. It's time for you to harvest your blessings with friendship, support, fun, unity, play. It's time for you to let your friends help you open up let someone come in and really nurture you this is number 14 fours are important for you and at the bottom we have number 13 precognition psychic ability future vision yeah you have psychic abilities like everyone has but you might be experiencing something here you're feeling someone tugging on your energy your experience is something that's opening you up to your psychic abilities it's letting you know that yeah you're right you're psychic innovation new creations the universe is asking you to follow your intuition to create something new if you're if you're feeling drawn towards creating something new with someone a new business partnership maybe or just a new connection if you have a project that you want to work on in your career maybe change Careers, you might be scared to hurt your boss here. Innovations, new creations again. You have something new that you're meant to create. You might be fighting it because you want stability. You don't want to be broken down anymore. Duality, many meanings, misunderstandings. Yeah, I feel like you're feeling misunderstood in love and career and you're ready for something new, something nurturing to come into your life. And it is here. There is a masculine energy. It doesn't have to be a man, but there is a very masculine energy here. I just want to draw um, power animal oracle cards. I never use this, so I might have to read what it means. I, they, these are my mother's cards, actually. I never use this, but let's see what your power animal is here. I was thinking about using my... Greek mythology deck but I guess that's not for today I'm sorry this reading is long Raven Raven magic own your power seal imagination immerse yourself in artistic and creative expression yeah you know something you've been getting intuitive downloads you've been getting messages from the divine from the universe and they're asking you to own your magic, to realize your magic, to own your power, to open up to the spirits and the divine things wanting to communicate to you. Start exploring, start maybe speaking your truth as well. Seal imagination, immerse yourself in artistic and creative expression. If there's something new, creative you want to do, you should, okay? Let's just see if I can see what the Raven card actually says in the description. So sorry it stopped recording uh, because I have bad storage, but let's see. It says trying to keep yourself little by denying your powers so you won't be a threat to anyone merely keeps you in a false bubble of safety. Of course, at least that way you won't get noticed much or stand out. Well, that trick has worn out its welcome. You're more powerful than you think you are, so it's time to stop pretending. Those psychic games you play, like finding convenient parking spaces or knowing when a certain someone is going to call, those are just parlor tricks. Yet there's subtle testimonies to the gifts you have. There's no need to take on airs about your incredible talents. Let them serve you but mainly let them be of service to others, whether human, animal, plant or mineral. Use your abilities to demonstrate to others that there is this amazing power of spirit available that can move mountains, a force that can be accessed with, accessed with the proper mix of faith, intention and focus. So stop doubting 
worrying or making excuses and own your capacity to be a powerful magician. Use these gifts to help make this a better world for all being. Okay, you're being called to do something. The universe is asking you to maybe even go online, like I did. <laughs> I was really fighting this when I wanted to go all online, but I did it. Okay, so let's see just a couple. That was a squirrel. Uh, just a couple of the Morgan Greers, just to clarify. It's a long message, I know, but it is your birthday month, after all. Happy birthday, by the way. I hope I said that. If this is resonating, again, please like, share or subscribe. I really appreciate it. Magician, yeah, you have the power to manifest your own reality. You have all the tool tools available to manifest a better life for yourself. Uh, start manifesting a better life or start telling people how you manifested getting to the point you're at in your life, okay? Okay, is this love, love though or is it career? It's independence, it's your independence. I feel like it's career. It might be love as well, but um, if it's love, you're kind of intimidating because you're so confident on your own, you're so independent, you might be scaring away potential partners, okay? But you're very independent and you know you got there by yourself. Justice with the scales. Um, you will get exactly what you deserve. Again, a scale card with the Six of Pentacles. It's your time to give, to get back what you put into the universe. It's your time to celebrate yourself. It's your time to shine. Okay, speak your truth. If you have something ongoing in the legal system, the court system, you should talk about it and expect the universe to give you some payback, exactly what you put into it. And we're ending it with the High Priestess. You're very intuitive. It's time for you to step up into a spiritual teacher or connect with one maybe. But you're very intuitive. This is why we have all this water here. You're very intuitive. You're getting downloads from the divine. You're understanding your place in the world. You're understanding the spiritual aspects. And it's time for you to step into a leader role. Start communicating your truth. Okay. What about love then? Three of Pentacles. Yeah, someone is wanting to build something with you. I would say that you should open up to them. Okay. I love you, Aries. I hope this resonated for you. Happy birthday once again. And please like, share or subscribe. I'm sorry for saying that all the time, but I really want people to... Give me some payback with just showing that you like my readings because it takes a lot of energy. Okay, love you guys. Eight of Wands, your manifestations are coming in, okay? I'm so happy for you. This is why I felt the need to do this reading for you. Remember, there's something intuitive or emotional that's happening, but you're not supposed to know it. You can't be told your path. You have to find your path and you know your path. But you're not getting, you, you have to follow your intuition here. Do what's right for you. Speak your truth. Build something. And open up to this amazing person that wants to come in and offer you feelings. Or proposal or something. I love you. Oh yeah, you guys. I forgot telling you that during my meditation I saw the gift rune and I heard a dog. So you have a gift. It's time you share your gift. It might want, it might make other people want to bring you gifts. And also with the dog, there is a loyal person. So this person wanting to collaborate with you or come in to help you or build a relationship or something, they're loyal. Okay. Love you.